When implemented, the policy will be focused on attaining the universal health coverage with the help of the private players. About 91% of women have had safe deliveries under the care of professional caregivers, which sets a good pace towards achieving better health care in Uganda. I want to implore all of you that once this policy is finally approved for implementation, we should galvanize our efforts and key stakeholders of the health sector and support its full implementation as one of the ways of accelerating and attainment of the universal health care. In order to understand the depth of public health issues that affect the last person, the civil society organizations have been urged to work closely with the government to achieve success for health advocacy. I think working with us enables you to understand some of the public health issues better, enables you to understand the challenges that we go through as the technical decision makers, but of course also it enables you to understand some of the key issues that are critical in advancing some of the public health uh, issues, especially at the community level. Our request is that let us refocus our advocacy. Since we are speaking on health related issues, we would like to see that shift from advocacy to health advocacy. According to Dr. Daniel, the health policies are only impactful to the communities if well implemented. Policies are as good as they are implemented. Today as we discuss lessons drawn from years of partnership experiences, our eyes must be focused on how well we have done our part as partners to ensure that we have the right policies in place and that all these wonderful policies are being implemented to yield impact we desire to see in our population. The theme of the event was Partnership for Responsive and Equitable Policies for Improved Health Care Outcomes in Uganda, Mariona Wari and Anit Sana, UBC.